we can just keep spamming left click and it should be really easy. <sighs> this show sucks! How is it going? My name is Punich and welcome back to our Robot 64 Let's Play series. Today we are doing part 3 and you may notice this sign over here that says Naughty's Resort. This is going to be the second world in the game and is going to be the world that we are going to be going to in this video. If you remember in the last two videos we got two ice creams in the hub world and all the ice creams in Turtle Top. So we no longer need to worry about that level until very very far in the game. Like literally right near the end of the game so basically we're just gonna go into naughty's resort and we're gonna see what's there this is a completely different world and there's gonna be a lot of new stuff and there is going to be a second power up in this game um we can just get a little preview of the world here these little um electrical wires or fences or whatever you call them these are going to be important for later and those guards over there they will hurt us and they are also going to be important for later there's already a portal over there. We're not going to worry about that for now because right now, what we're going to worry about are these guys here. These are basically security guards of Naughty's Resort. And we are a robot and we aren't allowed here. So, you can see there's a little exclamation mark right here there. And he's basically going to follow us. Oh, and he caught us. So, basically when that happens, we just lose a little bit of battery. And uh, there's a guy over here. We're going to let him find us and we're just going to... Make him, okay, well, he caught us again. So we just have to, uh, you know, just uh, power through a little bit. And hopefully, hopefully he goes near us at one point. Alright, so basically, you may notice we're going into the water now. And he just sank. That is what we have to do. We have to go to the other guards, or maybe just the other guard. I think that's the only other one. And we have to make him drown too, and then we will get an ice cream. So let's go to the pause menu here. You may know we go to the pause menu, go to ice creams. Um, if we just go a little bit here, let's go, let's go. The guards go for a dip. Yep, that means we have to drown them, basically. All right, so we're gonna long jump, make him, just make him go over here. And then we're just going to double jump, and then he goes straight into the water, and boom, both of them drowned, and the ice cream is right there. And we're going to have to go back there and get it. So we're just we're just going to cut, and we're just going to go get that ice cream. And there we go, that's our first ice cream in Naughty's Resort. Um, I've actually resorted to only doing half of the level per video, and I think it's going to work out well. And you may notice, oh, yeah, uh, the little tablet thing that holds our batteries, that is closed now. That implies that we no longer have um, any batteries we need to collect. So you may notice these batteries here. These will basically restore our health. We just phase right through them, and they don't really do anything because we're at full health. And you can see that you're at full health when this little um, when this little pad thing is closed up. So we're just going to jump on these flowers real quick and just go in this portal. There we go. And we're just going to wait to spawn in here. And now we're here, and there is a bunch more flowers. They actually move, and they kind of move us around, and they can screw you up, but they're not much of a problem. This is only the second free world in the game, and you don't need to spend any ice creams other than the first ice cream that you need to use in order to get into the observatory. So you can basically either do Dirtle Tops or Naughty's Resort first. It doesn't even really matter. Uh, let's just do this. Let's grab this little pole thing here. I thought it was a vine because it was green, but um, let's just uh, avoid this lava really quickly. And that lava extends all the way there. There are some candies there. I actually want to go and get those. Uh, let's double jump, dive, and spin attack. Hey, we made it. We can get those candies. You can just you can just jump right down here if you don't really worry about those candies. Candies aren't even really required to beat the game. They're just a fun collectible to get, and you can actually buy some hats with them that I'm going to show you uh, in a future episode, or, or maybe this episode. I don't know. So, in the tutorial, we learned how you can just do that wall jump or wall run or really, and it, it, it's, it's really helpful. So we're just going to do that, and boom, we got our second ice cream. It's that simple. Alright, we're just going to go back to the main world, and we are going to continue with this level. Alright, so now we're back here, and those guards are no longer, um... We, we no longer need to worry about them, because all those guards do is they just hurt us, and also, um... Also, uh, they just, they, they just kind of injure us. So now, no, no, now, besides all that, we got the skateboard here. And it is a brand new power-up, no... Oh my god, Bebo, you idiot. Alright, we hit E, and boom, now we got a score. And you may notice that the music actually changes when we have the skateboard. It's it's really cool, it's really fun, I like it. I think it also changes when you have the jetpack equipped, as you could uh, go back in the second episode and see that there was a jetpack power-up in Turtle Tops. This is the skateboard power-up, and it's going to appear in a couple of levels. I think it's going to appear in the level after this. 
And basically, what you can do is you can just do a bunch of tricks. For example, if I were to... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. If I, I can jump, and then do this, do a spin attack. And basically, you can just keep multiplying your score. And that's actually going to be required. Um, in every level that has the skateboard, there's going to be this guy here. Cool, bro. What's poppin', robot man? Think you could beat my score of 9,000 in under a minute. So, once we stop talking to this guy, we're going to have to use the skateboard, and we're going to have a timer for a minute. And basically, you can see our score in total um, until we just, you know, exit the skateboard. And basically, we have to beat his score of 9,000. We have to get more than 9,000 um, in the spam of that minute. I'll lend you this ice cream if you can, which is what we need, starting now. Okay, there we go. So we see that and basically we can just keep spamming left click and it should be really easy Um, and there we go. We already have a thousand so we're just gonna keep spamming this over here and our, there we go Now we got four thousand. It's really not even that difficult You don't even have to do anything super cool Just keep spamming left click and we're already at eight thousand just do a little bit of that and boom now We just got the ice cream. So, um, I don't really know if there's a way to um get rid of this timer if you already have 9,000. I think we just kind of have to wait. So I'll just cut to you guys when uh, the timer's done. All right, and since the timer finished and we had over 9,000, that ice cream's going to go right over there. I don't know why I didn't just stay there. And that ice cream is right over there. So we're just going to dive. Oh, no, dang it. Why did that happen? Okay, there we go. Scoring radical points. And I think that's all we got to do for the outside. I don't think there's anything else we can really do. Um, the electrical fence, if you were, um, confused about what that does, because I think I stated previously, uh, in this episode that we're gonna need those for later. We actually don't need those for later, because, um, those electrical fences, they actually help. They can actually help you, uh, get some points. But, um, we didn't even need those, because all we did is just spam left click, and we won. So, now that we're in Naughty's Resort, the actual resort, what we can do is we can just explore. There's a bunch of uh, areas here. There's a little smiley face made with candies. There's a spinning block there. And there are um, pots over here that we are going to use for later. So that door is just completely sunk. I don't know why. I don't know why it's like that. It is intentional. I'm just not sure why it's like that. Okay, uh, that is an ice cream in there. That is a maze. We're going to do that uh, uh, later. But Actually, how many ice creams do we have so far? We have, we have three. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to just get one more ice cream, and I, th I think it's going to be a good introduction to the ice resort. So what we can do is we can just throw that plant in that black hole there. There was a giant black hole here for some reason. I, I have no idea why. And basically, every time we put something in there, we can't put ourselves in there, but every time we put something in there, it grows or it shrinks. I'm not sure, but something happens to it. And basically, if we put enough stuff in there, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do something. So we're just going to throw that right in there. We're going to go back, and we're going to actually go get the pots that were up there before. All right, so we're just going to just throw that in there. Oh, and that was it. And boom, that is going to be the last ice cream of this episode. We're going to collect that, and we're going to finish off today's episode. And, um, yeah, I guess that's going to do it for this episode. If you if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to like and subscribe. And, uh, wait a minute, how long was I going for? Actually, you know what? Never mind. We're not going to finish this episode yet. We're actually going to do the entirety of Naughty's Resort today. We're going to do that because this has been just way, way too short of an episode. I'm trying to extend videos around, you know, 15, 20 minutes maybe. And, um, what we're going to do? What we're going to do? We're going to go in this maze. And you may, and, uh, believe it or not, I actually can't control my camera here. Uh, can we cheat the system actually? No, we can't. We can't actually uh, cheat the system. Oh, and there are guards in here. I did not know there were guards in here. Uh, we just spawn right back there. Let's do... There we go. There. Uh, no, he's still, he's still following us. He's still following us. Go away. Oh, okay, and the ice cream's right here. The ice cream's right here. We just do a double jump, and boom. Now we got it in the infested maze. Uh, let's actually see how many ice creams we got left. Only two. Only two. Naughty's Resort is actually a pretty short level. Up on the Chompin' Dudes. Wonder what that is. I actually don't remember that. I am, bl believe it or not, guys, um, I don't know if I already told you this in the first episode. I should've if I didn't, but I think I might have. Um, I've played this entire game before. I 100% of this game before. And it was a really fun game. I did it on my main account, Pacific underscore fan. And if you're wondering why is my progress reset, I you can reset all your progress. But that's not really what I did. Instead, what I decided to do was... Oh, I guess I guess there was something right here. I did not know that there was something right here. And that's going to be the boss fight over there. But um, really quickly, I just want to point out that um, I have played this game before on my main account. 
And I'm sorry if it makes it seem like that I haven't before. But, um... Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I see what this is. This is this is the ice cream. This is the ice cream that I was talking about. Oh, dang it, dang it. Actually, I think we could just jump up for that. All right, you know what? All right, so really quickly, I just want to point out something. I have played this game before. I know I keep trying to tell you guys, and I keep getting distracted. I've played this game before on my main account. I'm on an alt account right now. I didn't reset my progress, and I never will. And there's only one save slot for this game. So you basically only have one chance to beat this game and you either just reset all your progress or you just beat the entire game or just beat as much as you can there isn't really multiple save files so if you want to play this game again and you already completed it you have to go in an alt account which is what i'm doing right now this is not my main account this is an alt and what is here oh this is actually a really cool thing i will um i'll actually explain this to you in the next episode before we go to the third level in the game so, um, let's just go here. Hey, so this is Naughty, and you may remember that Naughty is in the name Naughty's Resort. So this is supposedly the guy who owns this entire building in this entire world. Can't you read? No stinky robots. And basically what happens, he gets in a UFO, and now this is the first boss fight of the game. We are fully at health, and he's just gonna throw random crap at us. We're just gonna have to avoid him. He's just gonna throw stuff at us. We have to avoid him. What are we gonna do? Uh, alright, great, 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 now he's down, so we can just, we can ground pound on him, and that makes him deal damage. Well, it doesn't make him deal damage, I, I mean take damage, I am, I, I just, whenever I do these let's plays, I can never speak, but besides that, uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna beat him a bunch of times, and that's all we have to do. So he's gonna do that, uh, he's gonna go over here, throw a skateboard at us, then he's going to go in the middle, then he's gonna go back down, we can just, uh, ground pound him again, and there we go. When we touch him, we don't really take damage. We take damage from the skateboards. And I think if we just touch him without uh, ground pounding him. But, oh, d I, I guess the skateboards still do damage to you. I I am very unintelligent. All right, now he's there. Okay, we're going to ground pound him. And boom, that is it. We just beat the first boss fight of the game. And we completely completed Naughty's Resort. So there we go. Naughty is down. And the Naughty Showdown is complete. And if we go to the pause menu, go to our ice creams. Oh! And look at those results. All check marks. Beautiful. Seven ice creams collected in this world. Seven ice creams in this entire world. We did it, boys and girls. We beat Naughty's Resort all in one episode. Because when I was originally going to end the episode, if you heard before, I don't know if I edited it out or what, but apparently... I was planning on doing, uh, you know, just half the level, but I guess considering Naughty's Resort is such a short level, I guess we just did the entire world in one episode. Okay, then. Uh, that is not the way out. Let's just find the way out. I'll actually just cut to you guys, you know, getting the way out. And I think that's gonna actually do it for this video. We're not gonna do two worlds in one video, but, um, what we are gonna do... We're gonna do one more thing in the hub world. Notice how this door requires eight ice creams. We have 16. We have the double of the amount of what we need. Bam! We did it. And now we got two more levels. We have the Hecklands and Candy Aquarium. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Hecklands first, but that's gonna do it for this video. And we're gonna go to the Hecklands in part one. Four. That's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed this Robot 64 Let's Play, make sure to go watch the previous episodes if you didn't. And let me know what videos you want from me in the future. Let me know what you want me to do with this channel in the future. Um, yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I'm Poonage. See you on the next video. Goodbye!